Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. My name is Christian. Today, guys, I'm going to be talking about warriors and hot pot. I mean, no, not hot pot, shield generators. Now, there's a couple things some people have been asking me recently, and it was basically how do you take down bases with shield generators because you're such a good warrior user. Um, and I'm going to be showing you my tips. Now, I could pretty much take down any, I can take down any on boost, um, on boosted ice base with at least with one shield generator two shield generators gets kind of sketchy but i'm going to be showing you my uh all on boosted also so i'm on boosted attacking players with a couple ice statues nothing crazy and nothing like over a hundred percent um it definitely gets pretty hairy and you definitely will have to use a couple attacks if you want to try on boosted if you boost one gumbo energy statue your masterpiece it goes so much better but we're not going to be talking about that much now i am full boosted because i just did an operation attack and failed that's all you have to see guys honestly that's all you have to know um, i'll show you that attack quick because i have a feeling this video isn't going to be that long and when i'm showing you in it when I'm showing you it, I'm going to talk to you or start talking to you about warriors. Now, hot, uh, shield generators. I keep saying hot pots. Shield generators. There are a couple ways you can go about it. One, you can try to power, just power through it. Don't worry about the uh, shield generator. And I don't suggest doing that route um, just because it gets real. It, it, it's bad, guys. You guys got to save like a couple shocks for everything. And it just not a very effective strategy this is my first fail I accidentally landed that boat outside of the smoke it happens but it was kind of messed up anyway uh, another way you can go about it is you can take down the shield generator with gumbo energy before you start the raid and that's what i normally do it, it it's like 50,000 hp so it takes a couple barrages and like five artillery so it, it's it, it gets I wasted a whole smoke there. I just see that now. Um, I kind of freaked out, to be honest. Then my flare just completely messes everyone up. And then there's one more route. Now, this last route you can use to take down shield generators, it, it's not the best. Um, because you do have to have boosted gumbo energy, and you do have to have boosted damage. Um, and you have to like be full boosted, full offense boosted. And basically... If you see any high-level player using it in here, uh, I guess you don't have to be full offensive. Just a couple offensive statues boosted. If you see any high-level player on the leaderboards using warriors, you know what they're using. They're using this last route to take down the shield generators. And basically, you flare to one shield generator, you destroy it. You go all the way over to the other shield generator, you destroy it. Then you go back to the HQ and take down the HQ. Now, I've never tried that strategy and I don't think I ever will because it sounds like a mess. I have taken down like one shield generator before. Let's get into a replay first of all. I have taken down like one shield generator before using that strategy, uh, but I mean, I couldn't imagine having one at this side, one at this side, and just going back and forth just to take them out. So for unboosted players, I suggest taking out the shield generator with gumbo energy. So that one I took down. This guy did not have too much ice. He obviously had some hidden. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he had like two ice statues hidden, which is fine. On boosted. So you, you have to be really careful with this strategy. And you have to really spread out your smokes because you have to use as little gumbo energy as possible. So you have to be very good at placing those smokes. And that only comes with uh time and practice so i dropped critters and now at this point i only had enough of one shock so i tried to get that double shock shock in i missed the shock um always shock first shock hot pots second shock uh shock launchers because those are the two killers of the warrior strategy unless there's like unless there's like uh damage amplified flamethrowers and machine guns around the hq that's just a mess so you definitely have to shock those so that was one attack now i tried taking out this guy using i mean i i just had a uh, heavy strained up and that was uh, that was a mess um but this guy actually didn't have any ice which makes me feel bad actually nope he has one ice i see you back there so um 
yeah, I, I had one bow of heavies trained off for another attack I just did, so that's why I did, uh, I forgot to retrain warriors, so I had a bow of heavies, so I'm like, okay, I can do it, it's not that bad, but, yeah. I was trying to attack a corner base, but anyway, don't use heavies unless you know how to use warriors, because heavies of warriors is a pretty complicated strategy, I'm not gonna lie. Um... And I've definitely been trying to get better at that. So, we successfully beat this guy. That, w that did not have a, a shield generator. So, I'll show you a shield generator base. This guy does not have a shield generator. I'll show you a shield generator base after this. But I'm going to get... I, I was I, I've been trying something new here with Warriors. And I've been it's been working fairly well. Now, in the past, I told you to park first like at the beach so around this area like you'd park at that st uh, gold storage or maybe if you want to go farther back park at the rocket launcher but now for these bases that have buildings on the side here you do not even need to park at the front so i'm gonna start the raid over because this is a uh, warrior tips that actually help you and we're going to put on times one and a half to show you. So this is what I'm going to do. I think I take down that boom mine first or not. So yeah, I drop critters to take down the boom mine. And, and then I drop my flare to that building. Now the building back here has to be on the side. It has to be exactly on the side or right on the side. So you could do it to this cannon. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you can't do it to like this mortar. I mean, I've never done it to the mortar, but I have a feeling it's not going to work very well. Then you land your warriors like this. You land them one boat at a time with like half or half a second delay or something like that. So they're going to form this kind of right triangle path, I guess you could say. And then you're going to get really precise with your smokes. Now the first uh, boat that you land, you can see that they're all tanking up the damage from the mines and they will probably all die um so you don't have to worry about them don't worry about healing them that's what their main purpose is just to tank damage from the mines so you can see here that all of my warriors are making it through these uh smokes without anything happening to them so i get here i actually deploy a shock i mean a med kit so far at this point i lost no troops so usually that first a uh, boat will die, but in my case, they actually didn't die. So I'm gonna flare to the HQ. Only two flares, minimal smokes, like 10 smokes or something, super low smokes. And then I'm gonna drop my shock. So I drop one on the hot pot first, uh, shock launchers, and then I'll get a couple med kits down to finish it off. So super easy attack, guys. And yeah, so this is the attack that wasn't easy. This guy had 100%. Uh, health and you can see some health statues back there he had about 100% health and you saw before that I didn't take him out um, and I'm actually gonna take him out one more time and uh, actually defeat him so yeah I take down his shield generator took me a lot of gumbo energy I had about 50 gumbo energy right now so I do that same technique now I could have I could have flared to that sniper tower, but I just didn't want to be that close to the HQ, and it would have saved me a smoke in the end, so that's why I did not do it. Drop in my, uh, my smokes, very precise, and actually, I, yeah, I don't know if it saved me a smoke. Yeah, it saved me, it saved me one smoke, so that's fine. I flared to the HQ, I get my med kit down to heal up. So far at this point, it has went extraordinarily well so then I dropped my critter because I only had enough for one shot that shot launcher was supposed to keep firing at my critters and it didn't so um, that's why I, I wanted to bring in heavies for this base now I can easily take this base out with like a, a dumbo energy boost or something like that so uh, then I try it with heavies nope that was a different base so this guy's actually boosted and I lost so we're not gonna watch it so anyway uh, we're going to gym up our troops here, and we're going to attempt this guy one more time. Not not those, not that guy, the other guy. Where are you? Uh, this guy, one more time. So I'm going to show you guys just how much better this attack goes with a boost. Uh, so yeah, we'll drop a couple barrages, a couple artillery, and I will need a lot more artillery. So yeah, 
Um, instead of being at 50 gumbo energy, or it was 59, I believe, I'm at 115. So a boost definitely helps. We're going to do the same strategy because that works very well. We got our half a second delay, pre <clears throat> delay pretty much. I'm sorry. Um, and then we're just going to space out our smoke. So they're just barely touching. You do have to watch out for the shock launchers. Um, because if one shock launcher fires, it's going to mess up your attack. You can still recover, but it's still going to mess it up. So I got my med kit down. And it's already going better. I could just slowly offset, very slightly offset that smoke. Um, so I was able to save like one smoke for my attack before, but I killed a lot more troops. I don't know why. I will get our critters down. We'll get our shocks. See how much more energy we have. <laughs> oh my gosh. We just got so much more energy, guys, and we just completely destroyed that HQ. Insane. So that's what you want to do with shield generator bases. Now, granted, I did have a super boost going on in your like Christian. You can defeat any base with a super boost, okay? That is true. You can pretty much defeat any, you know, not every base. Like, I still haven't figured out that running across strategy. I'm trying to find shield generator bases. Um, but yeah, if you want double shields, that's what you have to do. You have to do that running across strategy um, for it to actually like work. So I'm trying to find bases. And yes, I am hitting attack, not scout. I just, I don't want to scout. Okay. Uh, shield generators back there. I can't tell if that's a level one shield generator or level two or level three. I believe it's a level two generator. And this guy pre, oh gosh. Yeah, it's like close to a hundred i'm actually yeah it, it's more than the other guy the other guy was 100 but well actually it's like the same so um i'll show you that this does work i'll uh, flare to that flame obviously you don't want to go past h past the hq and backtrack um but we will take out some of these mines just to save some health on our troops like yeah the front two boats or something can tank up the damage oh, gosh Oh gosh, I barraged my own troops. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no. Poor troops. Uh, we should still be able to do this. Because we do have... Gosh, we'll get a couple medkits down because they're all on the verge of, of burning to death. <laughs> Holy crap. What did I do? I, I lost like half my army. Okay, we can still... Oh no. We do not have a lot of gumbo energy left. Okay, I'm not used to this. Obviously, we all still have fails here. And we'll drop some critters to distract that shock launcher. And hopefully, we'll just be able to beat the base. Yeah, I don't think we will. That shock launcher. Oh, yes, it did get a shot off on the critter. So, critters did their job. So, you can recover from anything. If you have a super boost going on. But definitely not a very clean attack. But I hope this video helped you defeat bases with prototypes and just super boosted uh or just boosted defensive now obviously i was on a super boost i can't stress that enough um oh mcal came in and attacked oh gosh oh gosh he wasn't able to do it why oh no what he didn't even drop any artillery come on <laughs> oh no, it's okay man we all have fails so I know it's still pretty bad. 23, man. He wasn't even close. Okay. Oh, well. Anyway, next guy can uh, come in and take it. I thought, like, anyone could take down a base with 60,000 HP. That's, like, three barrage. It'd be, like, oh, gosh. Yeah, it was a little too much gumbo energy. My bad. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.